Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson 10, distant perimeter and area in the real world. We're keeping it real. Okay, classwork, opening exercise. Find the area and perimeter of this rectangle. All right, I can't stress it enough. I ask it in class, I ask it in the video. Step one, write the formula. Area of a rectangle equals base times height. Second step, substitute in the givens. Area equals the base is nine centimeters, nine cm times the height, five centimeters, five cm. A equals 9 times 5 is 45. CM times CM is CM squared. Okay, so there it is. 45 square centimeters. That is the area. The word and means you need to do both. It's not an option. Perimeter is the next. Perimeter equals 2L plus 2W. The perimeter equals two times the length, which is the base, which is nine, plus two times the width, which is the height, which is five centimeters. So the perimeter equals 18 centimeters plus 10 centimeters. PEMDAS says to multiply first, then add. Perimeter equals 28 centimeters. Do not square it. Perimeter is distance. 28 centimeters. Okay. B. Find the width of this rectangle. The area is 1.2 meters squared and the length is 1.5 meters. This is the type of question that really makes it important that you know these formulas. So I say they're talking about area, so I'm going to write the area formula. Area equals base times height. Step two is substitute in the givens. Well, in this case, we were told the area is 1.2 meters squared, so that's my A. 1.2 meters squared equals, and my base is my length, 1.5 meters, and I don't know my height, so it's times H. And in this case, they're saying W. H height is width, okay? So in order to get this H by itself, I need to divide, because this is multiplication, and the inverse of multiplication is division, so I divide by 1.5 meters. And if I divide this side by 1.5 meters, and the 1.5 meters cancel here because anything divided by itself is 1, and I finally get H by itself. Meters squared divided by meters will cancel one meter and I get a meters as a unit of measurement and 1.2 divided by 1.5 is. Okay, so here's my calculator, 1.2 divided by 1.5, drum roll please. Eight. So it is 0.8 meters high. And if you want to put a zero in the ones position, 0 0.8 meters high. All right, so there we go. All right, now it says example, student desks or tables. Measure the dimensions of the top of your desk. How do you find the area of the top of your desk? How do you find the perimeter? Record these on your paper in the appropriate column. So I will measure a desk and I'll let you know what our desk's measurements are in one moment. Okay, so I just measured our desks and let me get my magic pen and I will draw a desk. Okay, there's my desk. And I measured this to be 24 inches. And this is 18 inches. So it's two feet by one and a half feet. So there is the dimensions of the desk in my classroom. So once I measured the dimensions, there it is, measure the dimensions of the top of your desk. There's number one. How do you find the area of the top of your desk? Well, the area equals the base times the height. And how do you find the perimeter? Well, perimeter equals 2L plus 2W. Record these on your paper in the appropriate column. So there must be a paper back here. Ah, oh, desktop. Okay, measurement unit, feet. Measure to the nearest half foot is good. 
and area prediction square units. Okay, so this is a prediction. Um, well, if I looked at this desk, I might say three feet squared. That might be a little much, but we'll see. So area square units, write an expression and evaluate it. Okay, so if I go back here, if we're going to do it in feet, then I'm going to change these from 24 inches and 18 inches to 2 feet and 1.5 feet. Okay, so now when I do this area, then it's going to be 2 feet by 1.5 feet. The perimeter would be perimeter prediction. Well, let's see if I think that's two, four, I don't know, maybe seven feet would be my prediction. And then the perimeter linear units. So once I calculate this, I'll come back to that in a moment. I'm just going to do the perimeter here first. Notice how they have the two factored out. That is the same as saying P equals two L plus two W. Actually, I've got it written over here. No sense to write it again. Um, I wrote it right here, P equals 2L plus 2W. Well, if you factor out the 2 times L plus W, that's what they're doing here. So if I do the same, 2 and the length is 2 feet and the width is 1.5 feet. And now let's do the calculations. So let me just scroll this up here. And 2 feet times 1.5 feet is... 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, so that's 3 feet squared, so my prediction was exact, lucky guess I suppose, and then let's see, I have 2 feet plus 1.5 feet, that'd be 2 times 3.5 feet, and that comes out to be 7 feet, I am on fire this morning. Okay, my predictions were exact on both. I cheated though, I measured first, so I kind of had a mental uh, approximate guess that was going to be closer. All right. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a, an idea as to how to fill this in. It says to here to estimate and predict the area and perimeter of each object that you choose in your classroom, then measure each object and calculate both the area and the perimeter of each. So I could do the teacher's desk, my desk, I could do the smart board, I could do a poster, I've got a mini fridge in my room, I could measure that, all kinds of different options. Um, I'm not going to do any more examples, I think the desktop is enough, because if your teacher is going to ask you to do things in your room, I think one example is enough to show you how to do it. So the optional challenge is going to get skipped here. And that is a quick lesson. That is the end of lesson 10. Go to your problem set. And oh, by the way, smash the like.